Miss Nicole and welcome to this week's update. It is Sunday the 12th of July and I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what's been happening. I am now Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I am now six days post three day transfer or I think I think that equates to nine DPO. A lot of things have been happening that I wanted to update you guys on. So I've written down quite a few of the symptoms that I've been having and I just wanted to say that this time around it feels so much different to last time and I don't know if that is because this time I'm going to have a positive or like because of the increased dosage that I was on prior to egg pickup or that sort of thing but definitely this time around I'm feeling a lot more and things definitely feel very different to they did last time. So I've written down some of my symptoms starting on Wednesday because I guess I didn't really have anything on Monday or Tuesday or if I did they weren't remarkable enough for me to write down. It was two days post transfer I had a mild headache, a little bit of constipation and the odd twinge and that was actually the day that I did my last video so I think I've already sort of mentioned this before. Um, the next day, Thursday, which was three days post-transfer, I had mild cramping, um, I got queasy, just really mildly, um, with eating, I had, again I had a headache, felt tired, I started getting sore boobs and some strong twinges, um, Friday, which was four days post-transfer, I had strong cramping, so throughout the day, I didn't really, I had like the odd cramp here and there that was quite mild and twinges and sharp shooting pains and then that evening I had lots of really strong cramps, I'm not terribly strong but what I would consider like the beginnings of AF arriving, those sort of cramps um, that were definitely a lot stronger than anything that I experienced the previous days. Um, and I had this full or like heavy sort of a feeling down in that area. That's probably the best way I can describe it. I was trying to describe it to my acupuncturist because I went and saw him on Friday and basically that's the way I can describe it is like a full or a heavy feeling. Um, like I said, twinges. I had lots of pain again on my left side um, and I felt queasy a few times and super tired. Um, then yesterday, which was five days post-transfer, um, I was really tired, I had to take a nap in the middle of the day. Uh, again, I had some cramping and some twinges. Um, this time, while I felt most of them on the left, I did ha have some in the centre as well. Um, I felt a bit queasy throughout the day and actually when I went to bed last night, um, I was lying there and I felt completely fine prior to this, but um, as I was trying to get to sleep, I was lying there and I started getting this really bad headache and just started feeling really like nauseous and really sick and unwell that I had to like get up and have a drink of water and then I eventually fell asleep and it went away and when I woke up this morning I felt completely fine, but that was a little bit random. Um, and then also yesterday I had sore boobs, but my boobs have been sore, but it's kind of like spreading all the way up to under my armpit. Um, and actually today they're feeling a little bit better and my nipples have been quite sensitive as well. I think they were more sensitive at the beginning and now they're not so much sensitive. Um, but I think, the, I guess the thing with all of these symptoms are they sound really great, but the thing that I've got to remember is that I'm on progesterone which can give you some of these symptoms. So it pretty much gives you pregnancy symptoms as well. But in saying that last time I was on progesterone and I didn't get many of these symptoms at all, the only thing I got last time was pretty much the sore boobs and the sore nipples. I did get the odd little twinge, but nothing compared to this time. Um, even today I've had more, more twinges and the best way I can describe it when I say a twinge is like a sharp shooting pain um, or like a little electric shocks that sort of last for a little while. Sometimes they're even really strong and it actually will like stop me in my tracks so if I'm moving or something and I get one I kind of have to go oh and like stop and then it, like that's how long it lasts but it's definitely so much different to last time so fingers crossed that means that some positive stuff is happening in there. Um, 
in terms of when I'm going to be testing and that sort of thing, my blood test does fall on Monday the 20th, which will be 17 DPO or 5th, um, let's work this out, so I had transfer on Monday or 14 days post transfer. The reason I'm having it on a Monday is because the blood test actually falls on a Saturday because my clinic would normally test you at 15 DPO. Um, but it's being a Saturday and my clinic isn't open on a Saturday so they've moved it to Monday. Um, so in saying that, I'm not sure about when I'm going to be testing. I haven't tested at all yet. So I don't really know when the trigger will be out of my system. I triggered... Not last Wednesday, the Wednesday before, so that is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, 9, 10, 11. So that should be about 11 days ago. Um, so I would have thought that the trigger would have gone, but I don't know. And obviously if I test too early, there could still be trigger left and then I'll get excited over nothing. So at this stage, I'm thinking, I ideally would love to not pee on a stick at all and then just go in for my blood test and get the answers that way. However, I don't know if I'm going to be able to resist that urge. So I'm thinking about testing either on the weekend or Friday morning because obviously um, Friday will be two weeks post pickup or ovulation. Um, so that is when I would expect it to be a uh, actual positive anytime before that I guess it could still be trigger but um, Friday I would expect that if I did get a positive it would be a real positive so that's what I'm thinking at this stage I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with that or if I'm going to change my mind and end up testing on the weekend or just waiting I've only got the one pregnancy test at the moment um, but I may well go out and buy more if I get the urge to. To be honest, if I got one with um, two lines on it, I'd probably have to go out and buy more because I'd want to see it more than once to believe it. Um, because obviously I've never seen more than one line on a pregnancy test before. Um, so that's what is happening at the moment. I think that's all I have to update you guys on. Yeah, so I am just now waiting. So... The first half of the two week wait is pretty much over now and I've only got one week left and I'm feeling good, feeling very positive, um, but at the same time not wanting to get myself too excited, but I have a feeling that there's definitely something happening down there. So, fingers crossed for me guys and I will talk to you soon. Bye!